So the epidemiology of SARS is that there were 8,800 cases of whom 774 died. With COVID-19, at the moment there are over 75,000 cases of whom over 2,000 have died. Even if it's just 2%, we're talking about absolute numbers. And soon the absolute numbers of those who have died will be three times that of SARS. So we're really talking about an enormous number of preventable deaths. However, if we look at the death rate for an opportunity to recover or get discharged from hospital, the death rate in Hubei is about 20% and for the rest of the world it's about 14%. So if we do it by cohorting those that have been sick and either recovered or died, the death rate's much, much higher. So when you're putting people in quarantine, you have to make sure that they know how to hand hygiene, and they know how to put their mask on and off carefully, but also if they're going to touch high touch areas where a group of people have been forced in confinement, um, they have to be clean. So there has to be a lot of environmental cleaning as well. But the way you do it, it has to be very safe for those that are put in quarantine and it has to be ethical. Australian scientists, and in fact scientists all over the world, are working very hard and have reported to WHO that they believe they can get a candidate for trialling in humans in three to four months. But after that, it has to go through uh, many phases before it's accepted as safe. So it probably won't be rolled out until at least 18 months.